Hello kids, let's start with our geography subject, chapter 1, how seasons occur, part 1. Let's recall. How do day and night occur on the earth? Answer. Day and night occur on the earth because of the earth's rotation. It spins on its own axis and it revolves around the sun. What term is used to describe the Earth's revolution around the Sun? Answer. The term orbital motion is used to describe the Earth's revolutional around the Sun. How long does the Earth take to do so? Answer. The Earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete one revolution. In which hemisphere is our country located? Answer. Our country lies in the northeastern hemisphere. Why don't the sun rays fall perpendicularly at all places on the earth? Answer. The sun's rays do not fall perpendicularly at all the places on the earth's earth because the earth is not flat but spherical in shape. Geographical Explanation you must have noticed the change in the duration of daytime and the nighttime from 19th to 28th June. It takes 24 hours for the earth to rotate around itself. It rotates from west to east. The earth's rotation has enabled us to measure time in terms of days. During a single day, we experience different stages like sunrise, midday, sunset as well as daytime and nighttime. To understand the changes in the location of sunrise and sunset on the horizon. Try this. Paste a large white paper on one side of the table. Place a torch in front of the table in such a way that it wouldn't move. Stand a rod or a candle between the white paper and the torch. See this figure? Direct the light beam of the torch in such a way that the shadow of the rod or candle falls on the paper. Mark the position of the shadow on the paper. Move the table along with the rod or candle from one side to the other slowly. Observe and mark the position of the shadow that falls on the paper. Note the change in the location of the shadow. Geographical Explanation From this activity you will realize that as the position of the table changes, the position of the shadow also changes. If the position of the sunrise and the sunset on the horizon are observed for the whole year, you will realize that they keep on changing. Let us try to understand the reason behind this with the help of the next activity. Now, let's see the activity. Take a thick stick about 1.5 to 1.7 meter long. Keeping some distance, fix the stick near a wall that receives sunlight at the time of sunrise or sunset throughout the year. Remember that the stick has to be fixed at this spot for a period of about one year. After the observation, mark the position of the shadow for that date. If the position of the shadow changes, measure and note the distance between the earlier and the changed position. During the period of this activity, observe the place of sunrise and the sunset on the horizon as well. The next part of the lesson should be dealt with in the month of September. Study the duration of daytime and night time on the basis of observation from the table for the month of September. Now try this. What was the direction of the shadow of the stick in the month of September? Answer. The direction of the shadow of the stick in the month of September is towards north. Second. On which day was the duration of the day and the night the same? Answer. On 23rd September, the duration of the day and the night was same. 